Let's say your mom has an iPhone, but it's getting a little hard to use because of all these icons are all the same size. You could drag some off the second screen or uninstall these apps or hide them. Or go to the leftmost screen here and use some widgets. But let me show you another way. I've enabled something called, um, this is iOS 17. If you go under accessibility and go all the way to the bottom here, see assistive access. If you tap on that, now I've set up these apps. You could set up a bunch more if you want. Basically any app you want, but they may not, might not all look that good in this app. But let me just get back to launch it and show you what it looks like. So or you can change the order of how they appear on the screen too. Okay, now there's a simple, you set up a pin code for this assistive access app. It's different than the pin code for the phone, if the phone even has one. And now, so once you set this up, they're locked into this assistive access app unless they know the pin code. So depending on their capabilities, you may or may not want to give them that. So let's just look at a few of these apps here. Weather looks pretty good. Notice the big back button. It's always nice so they so you don't go off and get astray. Um, contacts, you can set it up for their contacts. Same with messages. And mail. Looks like I don't have any mail right now. Their music. Nice to have the album covers. Back button again in all these. Even on a browser. So you don't have to show the browser, but if you want to, there's a back button so they can escape if they go too far. And again, camera and photos. And you can do all that. And it makes it very simple. So you can use the pin code to get out of this. It, it, it's a triple click of the home button. But I think it makes a nice, sort of like an easy mode that Samsung phones have had.